Pardon me, you need a tic tac. I. Okay, let me tell you now that, like. Basically, like. I will admit, I am extremely bored. Um. My. I have two roommates that have left. One of them is our energetic leader. And. I'm just kind of sitting here. Bored. Like, I don't feel like playing video games or anything. So, I. I, and I just feel like making videos and just, it's bad. I mean, I guess you could shave. That would probably help a lot. Um, crap, I had, I had an idea for what I was going to talk about, but I completely forgot it. Take this as a lesson. Write down your ideas, otherwise you will forget them. You know what? Screw it. I can do this. I'm I have my own channel, I can do this. This is gonna be a random video. This is gonna be me talking about random things. I'm just going to look around my room and figure out some things to talk about. Okay, here we go. So maybe like a year or two ago. Embarrassing story. I like to use headphones whenever I play my video games because they kind of help isolate me from the world and you know give me that sense of peace well I got some lovely headphones uh, the Trisonic headphones I'm, I'm pretty sure these aren't really that great but point is they were like my best like noise cancelling headphones because they had big puffy insides and I couldn't really hear like if my mom was talking or something I could hear that so it's kind of helped me like have a better hearing thing well I sat on them okay I sat on them so bad well here they are I put tape on this because I wanted these to be somewhat repaired but the point is I didn't really fix it just kind of helped keep it together but um yeah, you, you can tell where the problem is. I sat on them and I broke... I broke kind of like up here, like this whole part kind of started coming apart, and so whenever I would keep it together and put it on my head, this thing... Actually, no. The inner part of this thing would stab into my head, so I, I would be sitting there in pain. So I at least banded, patched it up so that it wouldn't stab me. Um, I mean, it works. I haven't really used them since I... I want to have a more permanent fix for this, so I kind of put them. I kind of made like a little. I put. I have a dresser here, and it's kind of a mess right now. And actually, there's a letter here that I have to tend to, and I'm gonna flip that over so that you guys, so that my current dress is such as confidential. Okay, so this is gonna be a little. This is gonna look a little messy, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Let me just try. Oops, that's too much. By the way, I have Christmas lights up. I know it's past Christmas and all, but I have Christmas lights up still. Okay. Now what you're about to see is a huge mess, and screw it. It was a water bottle. And it's kind of like my thing where I work on, where I just kind of work on stuff. Um, I clean some of my stuff here. I put stuff back together. I take things apart. Someone just sent me a text. I don't give a damn at the moment. But um, this is kind of like my little workspace. I've got small screwdrivers for when I need to take apart those. Let me actually get in the shot here. I have these small screwdrivers when I want to take apart, like the smaller screws. Um, I have some difficulty with taking apart a laptop. I just realized I have, I have two water bottles here. I have I have one that I was in the middle of drinking here, and I have one next to my bedside that I was also drinking. Okay, awesome. Anyways, and then. A lot of my stuff gets dusty, so I keep this around so that I can just kind of take take the dust off. 
Um, underneath the script, I have Q-tips. Um, it's part of my daily routine to scrub my ears out, and I also clean with them, so they come handy. Hang on, let me just. By the way, I have a, I have a, a long board back here. Um, I just got it this Christmas, and so I'm gonna look forward to riding it. All right, let me just. I'm just gonna not appear in the in the shot. So. So yeah, and then we, I've got my normal headphones here, which I kind of put them here for storage for now. Um, right here I have my external um, charger for my phone or my iPod or anything that, that needs it. I have a little tablet here. This is what I usually use to uh, keep my notes on. Uh, I've got my... I've got my boarding gloves. Whenever I, well, because I'm still learning, I haven't really learned how to stop yet. So I tend to put my hand on the ground, and using my bare hand is not advised. So I use these, which have little grips on them, and they help out. Two different kinds of tape. Never know what you need them for. I have these gloves from. Um, my truck whenever I work on it and I decided to bring it here since um, I actually had a bad incident where I s slashed my finger open trying to take apart a laptop and I learned my lesson from that Let's see over here Oops. over here I've got another another like multi-purpose tool pliers a voltage me uh, battery voltage meter a uh, so like a Swiss Army knife. In here, I've got a little headlamp. Comes in handy. And then up top, I have these little fireballs. My roommate usually takes them, but I decided to keep a couple just in case. A whole stack of papers of handouts and stuff that I should probably sort through. But yeah. I, this is just kind of my workspace for like anything really. Oh yeah, and this is a, this is a Xbox hard drive that my friend gave to me because she says that it's like locked so when I go home I'm going to plug this in my Xbox and, uh, well my, one of my older Xboxes and see if I can't like unlock it or I don't know, see what I can do with it. But yeah, this is just kind of my workspace. So, yeah, that's about it for that. Let me. I'm just gonna warn you all now that this is going to be this is going to be a long video of me mostly babbling. So, if you don't want to keep looking at this random crap that goes on, then you're gonna feel free to end the video. I won't. I won't be like. I won't be um, offended. I'm honestly just bored and I want to like talk to my audience and kind of help let them get to know me a little, I guess. Um, you know what? I don't think I've shown you guys this, um, but I work, I know that some of you know, I don't know if I showed in any other videos, but I wear glasses for long distance seeing. Um, these I've had since like 2007, and I need to get new glasses. I'm looking to get like a thicker frame, and well, as you can see, these things are a little bent out because they've been stepped on a couple times and that and sat on. That's not a good thing. But uh, I, I think I just need to get new glasses. Oh yeah. So also. Let me take that off. I have a little plushy Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur and Venusaur are my favorite Pokemon. I know, it's a little weird, but I found this at GameStop for like 10 bucks, so I got it. I, I just had to. He's adorable. But, um, let's see. What else can I. Oh, yes. So. 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna mess this up, but my roommate got light diffraction glasses, I think they are. They're like the really cheap ones, they're like the 3D glasses kind of thing. But I'll show you what they do. Hold on. Okay. See how my Christmas lights look like that? I wonder if it'll I think it'll work. Well, imagine looking at them like whoops. See how it kind of like diffracts the light and kind of you can mostly see it with the sunlight. Um, you have to be a little bit closer for it to see on the Christmas lights, but that is, this is what you see through them. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, let me keep a pair, so I keep that there. Um, let's see, what else can I show you guys? You know what, I'm, I'm, I was going to not show you this, but I might as well. So I'm in, so I'm taking a drawing class, and this is like a, not even starting out basic, it's just kind of like, hey, guess what, you're going to start drawing things right away. No introduction, nothing. So I'm going to show you some of my drawings. Um, I've been wanting to get better at drawing for a while, so I decided to take a class on it. Now for our first exercise, we had to draw, like, um, ellipses horizontally and vertically. So we basically had to make, like, an egg. And we had to, like, show light passing through it. So I was like, okay, well, I mean, make half it dark, make the other half fadingly white, I guess. You know, it's... He didn't really give her specific instructions, I just kind of did it. I just got the charcoal on my arm. That was on charcoal. And then, th I, I will tell you now that I absolutely suck at perspective. I absolutely suck at it. And we had to start drawing like the outlines of um, newspapers. So I kind of just kind of made four window panes. <laughs> I, uh, it's kind of hard to see on this, but like I. I like made the little bumps on them to show like where the creases are, not just four window window panes. And I made a little bit more sophisticated than that. But um, yeah, for this one, I decided to cheat a little bit um, and kind of have more zoomed up, zoomed in look. We had to draw like, trash bags full of newspaper. I think it was. I don't know, but. Might look like, I don't know, might look a little strange. It kind of looks like a little heart with, like, strain muscles on them. We had three of them to draw, so I just kind of drew them off the page a little. Because I really did not want to draw them like that. Um, oh yeah, and then we had to, this is probably one of my better ones besides the egg. Only because that really was just really simple. But... We had to draw four boxes, and yeah, my drawing sucks, <laughs> but I mean, I, I'm doing the best I can. And then, oh, this so this was our second to latest project, which was we had to draw on a giant, there was, on a giant mat, there was four trash bins with trash bags on them of different, like, colors, like there was a clear one, a like regular Walmart bag, a black bag that in the trash can was like all dented up and we had to show that. And there was one that was like a grayish. So I did that. Which the camera's having trouble focusing, I can see that and it's bothering me. Um but we yeah, I drew that. Oh yeah, and then this is the one that we most recently did, which she brought in two gigantic um, cylinders with cloth wrapped around it. And you can kind of see through the cylinders, so we had to draw like the cloth inside the cylinders. So, and as you can see, this 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 one doesn't look normal, like my like how I usually draw, because well, my my professor tried showing me how to do it and it's it's not my style 
I'm sorry, but I get so infuriated whenever teachers like try to show you how to draw something. Like, art is supposed to be about how you express your personal style. It's not supposed to be how to express your teacher's style. You know. Um, Yeah, that, that's all I've got for, for, well, I do have other drawings, but those are more doodles than actual drawings. Uh, actually, you know what, maybe I'll show you guys that. If I can find it. Yes, here we go. So I have... So before I actually took the drawing class, I, I had a little composition book full of all these different little doodles I did. Well, first it started out as... Someone's calling me. Um, first it started, started out as me writing down my um, like video ideas for like my random little videos that I want to do. And so I have this huge page list out with like all these different facts of things I would do with my friends on a video. And then I even made a little stick figure. Um, I'm trying to remember the, the name for it. It's like a planning board or I, I can't remember it. It's like, it's like pre-planning. Freshman year, I was out with one of my roommates, and we were just enjoying the spring weather. So we sat down at picnic tables, and I drew things while he texted his girlfriend. So I drew... I love Minecraft. I'll tell you that right now. I have a little creeper plushie over there. And I have... And I drew the four main tools of Minecraft, the pickaxe, shovel the hoe and the sword and so I made quick little doodles of that um, I also I'm into this thing called SCP it's like a little horror kind of thing um, anomalous objects one of them is a concrete alien I guess for lack of a better word and I decided to draw that um, not that amazingly but I mean this was just a really quick rough sketch. So this Minecraft tools you got. And then I'm gonna raise that up a little. This is SCP-173. This guy's adorable but creepy. If you've ever played that the game, you'll know what I mean. Oh god, this this thing. So also, um I was into the design of robots. I wanted to come up with plans for robots that would make it like so amazing and unique and helpful. Well, I came up with one where it would be a little platform and it would have clamps on it. And say a person is in crutches and they're trying to put their books in a locker, but their locker is like the, one of the upper lockers and they can't exactly like put down their bag and bend down and like pick up their books. Point is, this is for like a person who like needs help like carrying things and lifting things and things like that. I have this little, I had this idea for like a little compact, okay, whoever's calling me needs to stop. A little compact, um, rectangular little robot with, on wheels. And what would happen is it have little clamps on the inside that hold on to a little platform. On that platform is all these, is whatever you would put on there, you know, books, you know, pen anything. I thought of this in an educational way. But what would happen is you would have a remote. I actually have this whole thing where you would have like okay. You know my geekiness here, but I was always like fascinated with like you know from fall you have the little wrist the little pit boy which is like the little computer on your wrist kind of thing. I kinda of redid that but with my phone and a iPod holder. Um it looks really stupid, but it's kind of cool to just sit there and like, you know, reply, reply to a text like that and just be done. Um, uh, it's just my inner fanboy. Um, but, you know, using that you would, 
tell it to release the clamps and then it would be on I can't remember the name of it but it's where it's the it's where it's the crisscrossing like supports that like extend something up like you mostly see all those on like um those theater like light those little theater platforms and like the theater where they raise it up and go adjust the lights and stuff like that but and then it would go up like that and it would like instead of you having to bend down or carry something it would raise it up for you so that you can simply just reach forward and grab it so I came up with a little little blueprints for that a little description at the bottom it's, it's kind of interesting and then at the time I was playing Metal Gear Rising which was a and then in the game there's a thing there's a robot called Blade Wolf and I kind of wanted to come up with my own little spin off of it um, it looks a lot like Blade Wolf and it but I mean it's it, it's a nice theory you know like, and so I decided to kind of draw it unique pardon me while I take this text Oh my god, my roommate it just my roommate just texted me something ridiculous that I'm not gonna say on this video. Because it is it is not something they should be repeating on a video. Also, I like dragons. So I tried drawing a dragon. As you can tell, I am not the best draw the best artist. I was kind of what happened was I killed a dragon in Skyrim. And so I just kind of sat there and tried to replicate it. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> I tried drawing a violin. It came out to be like one of those giant, like, bases. But at the top, but I am a huge fan of Lindsey Sterling, who is a hip hop violinist. So I thought I would draw this while I was waiting for laundry. Um, this is actually an unfinished sketch. I was, again, I'm a fan of Skyrim, and I was drawing a blade, which read in uh, dragon language. I think it was like defense or something like that, or or champ. I don't remember what it is. I'll have to look it up. I'm a fan of the animated show Ruby, which is um, a couple videos ago. I did a. Um, I did a little video talking about Monty Um, who died, who was the creator of this show. I, I just looked down and realized I drew a really derpy pre-sketch. Anyways, I'll just show you the, the top. You know what, I'll show you everything, but I'll show you the top two. I have Blake and Weiss. You know, two of the girls from Ruby. I kind of took it off of a online thing where I would kind of like look at it and then try to replicate it. It's honestly not that bad. You know, not bad for first time with a little guide. I drew a really derpy Weiss before I actually did it because I kind of just wanted to laugh at it beforehand and just... And then I drew... I was into something... I don't remember what it was, but it was something horror-y. And it's this guy with like skin and bones and bones coming out of his body and it's like... I don't really know where I got the inspiration for that. I did. And then I started to draw the just plain old ruby and I'm gonna I'm gonna go into that in a second here. I used to play a game called Star Wars Galaxies, and that is the best um, and most amazing game I've ever played. Um I love it, it's amazing. So I decided to draw my character. This was like a f not even a five minute sketch from memory. Um, I decided to draw my character, which was a Wookiee Jedi, and this is how it came out. I mean, I did I did the face pretty well for a Wookiee, but everything else needs to be adjusted a lot. I also started, which this is another unfinished thing, I started drawing a ghost from Destiny. Um, ghosts are amazing little things. They are, they would be... Everyone wants a minion or, you know, something adorable like that. No, I want a ghost. Because that would help me so much in life. I swear this is... Oh my god. No, stop. 
Um, you know what? I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to upload this video, and then I'm going to make another video. I'm going to do a, like, random 20 questions kind of video, where I'll tell you a little bit more about myself. So I feel like that would probably be a really good thing for me to do, and I can upload it on my, um, my video trailer kind of thing to kind of help introduce myself until I get something better. But this has been a longest video. I'm sorry if you sat through this, but yeah, I just thought I would introduce myself to a little bit more to some of you guys. Excuse me, to some of you guys. So thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to leave a like, I will leave my Twitter in, in the description, as always. And I will be making another video to upload because this is going to be a very boring day. So I will have a lot to share with you all. Prepare. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.